Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about the creative problem solving technique called accepting your hits and misses, which is not to get confused with successes and failures or winning or losing, which is why many people tend to not even use this technique because they're afraid to fail at the thing that they set out to do. When Albert Einstein created the light bulb, he had a thousand unsuccessful attempts before he finally came up with the right solution. Instead of saying that he had a thousand failures, instead, he was quoted by saying that there were a thousand steps to creating the light bulb. This also leads to the second aspect of the technique, which is accepting your hits. Because many times when people get a good idea and they figure it out, they're satisfied and they don't work to improve it. In 1976, Steve Jobs launched his first computer, the Apple I, and he was sure that it was a hit. This is a picture of the Apple I. Now, sure, at the time, it was definitely a hit compared to what they had already, but this is what an Apple computer looks like today. So now imagine this. It's 1976, and Steve says, you know what? I'm good with the Apple one. I did what I needed to do. I don't need to improve it or anything. And Apple wouldn't be anywhere near where they are today. So I think that it's very important to improve upon your hits and figure out how can I do this even better. So regardless of whether your idea was a hit or a miss or a variation of both, there's always something to learn from this and there's always ways that you can make your idea even better. Thank you.